That next population, almost a third of the residents are part of that community. But those numbers don't translate when it comes to one very important industry, high technology. As part of our continuing Hispanic Heritage Month coverage, KTVU's Jesse Gary has a deeper look at the issues that contribute to the low numbers of Latino high tech employees and some ways to deal with that problem. Alex Antavaros uses mouse clicks and videos to combat a decades-old South Bay problem. It's the nagging, inaccurate perception Silicon Valley high-tech isn't fertile territory for the Latinx community. I think there's always been a frustration in our community, in the Latino community, around the negative depiction of us. Hundreds of years before the advent of the silicon chip, this valley's calling card was agriculture. Farm fields stretched from Gilroy in the south up north to land now occupied by tech giants. The population has always been a very big part of this region. Uh, and even today, the Latino population is close to 40% of this region. Despite that large demographic footprint, Latinx inclusion in the high-tech industry is paltry, from a low of 3% to a high of perhaps 7% of the workforce. That's a catastrophe. You know, as someone who worked in the industry myself several years ago, I find it appalling that this number is this low. The reasons for a lack of diversity in the tech industry vary, but one of the common themes coming from most minority communities, including the Latinx community, is it's hard to get hired if you don't see it as a viable career path. And it's hard for those who are doing the hiring to hire you if they don't see you or if they don't see you in one of those roles. Ron Gonzalez is a former mayor of San Jose, but his roots are in high tech. He believes the key to increasing the number of Hispanics working in high tech is increasing academic successes in the Latinx community. Some higher education centers are doing outreach, and there's an emergence of professional support groups targeting students and new workers. So that they have the professional networks they need to succeed. Gonzalez says all of this translates into a deeper labor pool. They not, may not necessarily graduate as computer scientists or electrical engineers, but they're graduating with finance degrees. They're graduating with marketing degrees. And high tech, and I know high tech, hires more than just engineers. That brings us back to Alex Antaveros. His Silicon Valley Latino profiles Hispanic success stories in a wide range of white collar fields, including tech, who have made a difference. It's positive reinforcement designed to spark interest in the mind of the next crop of workers and counter misconceptions in the minds of current hiring executives. If they saw these folks doing and achieving success in the tech space or in any space, you know, then they would be able to see themselves in those roles as well. The end goal is similar to his finished video product. It looks good, but there's always more to be done to make it even better. On assignments in Silicon Valley, Jesse Gary, KTVU, Fox 2 News.